Hey guys, Ready here. And I just saw Inside Out 2. So Inside Out, Inside Out 2 is a continuation of the first Inside Out movie. Uh, Riley is now older. She's, I think, in like her early teens. And she's going to like this, this hockey camp uh, with her two best friends. And um, she uh, wants to fit in with like... Um, this like like popular hockey um i guess you could say uh celebrity and uh she just pretty much leaves her friends behind and bonds with the uh, popular people um anyway so uh anyway inside her mind the the, uh, the emotions like joy fear sadness disgust and anger are pushed out they're being exiled by these new emotions anxiety um embarrassed uh envy and some weird french one um and i don't know anxiety kind of got on my nerves a little bit um i i mean i know her character's supposed to be that way but it's i don't really like I didn't really like anxiety that much. Um, but uh, walking into this movie, I wasn't sure what to expect because the first Inside Out was really fucking good. Like, I almost teared up at the end of the movie. Uh, that that was that movie was emotional as fuck. And I just didn't think that this movie would be able to top it. And it didn't. But it's not... It's not bad. It it was pretty good, considering what Pixar has been spewing out lately with Lightyear and Turning Red, Elemental. Uh, this this was pretty good. Um, my only like main issue with the movie was all the body puns, like the stupid. The stupid food puns, like if you thought the stupid food puns in Cloudy the Chant of Meeples 2 were bad, they kind of did the same thing in this movie, except except it wasn't food puns, it was body puns. It's like, we are suppressed emotions. There's like jokes like that. It just, like, for the high caliber writing that like Pixar has with its jokes, in, 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 in their previous movies, these just felt very easy, very simple, very low-hanging fruit type jokes. And it just, it was dumb. It was probably the dumbest part of the movie were the stupid puns. And, um, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I I enjoyed the movie. Um, oh, also, there's no woke nonsense in this movie. Thank God. Uh, hopefully, Disney learns from this. I doubt it because they got a lot of woke shit coming out in the next year or two. Um, but at least they kept that out of this movie. Yay. They should have kept that out of Lightyear and Elemental and Turning Red. But, um, by the way, I think Turning Red is probably the worst Pixar movie I've ever sat through. It's either Turning Red or, um, uh, The Good Dinosaur. Those two movies were just tough to sit through, especially Turning Red. Um, I, Pixar is known for making such rich animation. And then... Good Dinosaur comes out and it's just dull. Like the animation, like the water in that movie is pretty good. Anything that's not water in the Good Dinosaur was terrible. What the fuck? Like it just Pixar has a standard and it just the Good Dinosaur just not did not meet that standard at all. Like the 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 character designs were weren't that great and oh my god oh and another boring pixar movie is brave 
So like my bottom three would probably be Turning Red, Brave, and The Good Dinosaur. Yeah, that's how I'd probably rank them. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Inside Out two, um, three and a half out of five stars. Definitely a, pr a pretty good family movie. Movie you could take your kids to go see. Um, and uh, yeah, and it has a great message uh, for kids. Great message. Uh, yeah.